incredible. I have chills. I know. Michaela's win last weekend, you just heard, arguably capped the greatest season in skiing history. Okay, let's rattle off just a few stats here. Okay. Bear with me. Just this season, she became the first ever to win in all six disciplines. First ever to win slalom gold four years in a row. First ever to have 17 wins in one season. Oh, and yeah, of course, four World Cup finishes. She's also a two time Olympic gold medalist. And this is the craziest part. I'm exhausted. She's the ripe old <laughs> age. Just turned 24 last week. Michaela, welcome. We're so glad you're with us today. Thank you. It's good, good to be here. How nice does it feel guys. when we say everything that you've already accomplished? Gosh. Um, well, it really made me smile, but I, I just, I, I have to say, I'm looking at the TV right now, and there's a little red circle in the middle, square in the middle of it, and I just saw it, and I was like, oh, my lipstick's all over my teeth. <laughs> and I was like, so for everybody watching, you just saw my face. I was like, what is that on my face? No, you're you know, a girl's girl like, after all. Yeah, it's a little one of those. But yeah. speaking of that, I mean, you are a girl's girl. But let's talk about your accomplishments when you look at it in terms of what your male counterparts have accomplished. Um, you have been for the third year in a row. You've out earned all the guys in your sport. I mean, that's insane. <laughs> and when you think about like what I love about skiing and alpine sports, is that you are equals in that yeah. regard. Yeah. No, it's it's been. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Just watching those. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> if, if you put okay, if you put video of ski racing on, I'm gonna stop and watch. Uh, and do you watch your technique? It. You want me to? An yeah, I watch my technique. I'm like, oh, I wonder. You know, that pole plant was a little bit mistimed. You know, my <laughs> I, that was on my inside ski there. Uh, no, it, it's really exciting to be part of a sport that I would say is in many ways leading leading the charge. Um, you know, as far as addressing the gender pay gap, and there is none in ski racing. Women and men's prize money is exactly the same. So Love that's that. a really, it's really, really exciting. And I mean, the sport has, de it's definitely male dominated in the sense there are many more male men around. There's more men coaches, there's more, uh, yeah. But the pay gap is non existent. And Love that's that. something that, I mean, I don't know. When we talk to people, it's it's such a it's a big deal these days, and it's something Huge. like, yeah. yeah, and it's something that I'm like, you guys need to. I, I'm excited. Well, I'm act, I'm happy you asked about it because it is it's a good message to get out there. I mean, it's we're kind of leading the charge there, and not many people know about that. Um, but for me, I mean, yeah, it's it's amazing to be out earning the men, but more mm -hmm. than that, it's amazing to have the opportunity to. I love what a perfectionist you're watching yourself up yeah. there going the pole, the ski. So you've just come off this incredible season. What do you do to relax? Uh, well, eventually, at some point this spring, I'm going to try to get to a beach somewhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but right now, I have a couple couple days in the city, a little bit of media. Then I'm going to be able to visit my nana for a couple weeks. I was just watching the segment with that. 99 oh. like that was so cute and she's she reminds me of my nana so now it just made me feel a little nostalgic i'm gonna go visit her soon and get a little time off you know family Sweet. is so important to you um let's talk about i mean you were there of course for lindsay's final run as well and and i know lindsay has been such a mentor to you as well and she said she views you as in a league of your own. You know, she, of course, was chasing Ingmar Stenmark's 86 World Cup titles. You're already at 60, maybe even more than that right now. Are you going to be chasing a title, too? You know, I'm not. Um, I'm not chasing. I feel like my biggest goal for my skiing and my, my results goals um, have to do with the season titles, winning the, uh, the overall globe, the GS globe, the Solemn globe. Um, a lot of which I, uh, yeah, exactly, I accomplished that this season. Um, but it's still, that dream continues. I mean, it doesn't die just because I achieved it. And I still have the motivation and the passion to keep going out every day and working hard and trying to ski faster and ski better. Um, and it's not really, for me, it's just not about, like, chasing those numbers or the statistics, but uh, just doing my best on my skis every, every day. And uh, it's also, I'm trying to push the limit not only push my own limits in the sport, but push the limits of the sport and raise the level of women's ski racing. And uh, it's pretty cool right now. There's a lot of girls who are very competitive. And um, it's, been, it's been a really exciting season. I mean, and I know I have a big number of wins to my name from this season, but every, every race was a fight and there was a lot of competition. And uh, it's sort of, it's a pretty exciting time to be 
to be racing because you just you don't know what's going to happen and every single girl is putting their best out there and um yeah. So I, I feel, in many ways, I feel lucky that this season was went the way that it did. We feel lucky getting to watch you and yes. all the accomplishments. <laughs> Thanks for everything you've done for women, for pay gap, for the sport. And we can't wait to continue to watch you. You're only getting started. Beijing, Olympics. Oh, here we can't come. Wait. It's going to be fun. <laughs> here we come. Full steam ahead.